Good morning, viewers. It's a new day. Welcome to today's devotion with the Daily Fountain, the devotional guide of the Church of Nigeria Anglican Communion. Invite your family and friends. Get your Bible and your Daily Fountain manual while our devotional leader takes us on today's devotion. Welcome to this exciting moment with the Lord as we begin our day. For today's meditation, we read from Matthew chapter 24, verses 32 to 44. Matthew 24, 32 to 44. Now learn this parable from the fig tree when its branch has already become tender and puts forth leaves, you know that summer is near. So you also, when you see all these things, know that it is near at the door. Assuredly, I say to you, this generation will by no means pass away till all these things take place. Heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will by no means pass away. But of that day and hour no one knows, not even the angels of heaven, but my Father only. But as the days of Noah were, so also will the coming of the Son of Man be. For as in the days before the flood, they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage, until the day that Noah entered the ark and did not know until the flood came and took them all away, so also will the coming of the Son of Man be. Then two men will be in the field, one will be taken and the other left. Two women will be grinding at the mill, one will be taken and the other left. Watch therefore. For you do not know what hour your Lord is coming. But know this, that if the master of the house had known what hour the thief would come, he would have watched and not allowed his house to be broken into. Therefore you also be ready, for the Son of Man is coming at an hour you do not expect. This is the word of the Lord. Today's topic is Jesus shall come again. Today is a special day that marks the beginning of the church year, which we call Advent and Advent Sunday. So our emphasis for this devotion is centered on the second coming of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Of course, Advent, his first Advent, he came for our redemption. He paid the supreme price by shedding his blood. And so we thank God that we have a Savior. We have a Savior who came and died for us, redeemed us. And he didn't end there. He's coming again is coming again and that is the message for today that jesus is coming again what is expected of us is what this meditation is drawing our attention to that we just need not know it offhand by head as just as head knowledge but by way of preparation that this same jesus that came for our sake is coming again. It's coming for those who have prepared themselves for him. Those who loved him, they served him, they worship him, lived their lives for him while here on earth. This meditation in line with the mind of God that all of us should make heaven. All that we're doing now. Today is Sunday. Maybe you are with me now early in the morning before you go for service. All this that we're doing 
God intends that we should be with him in eternity. And the church does not want your labor to end here. That's why this meditation is coming to you and I. That we should be fully ready. We should prepare ourselves for his second coming. And what a fine passage I've been choosing for today. Uh, we are being reminded of the days of Noah. Noah in his own time, God called him to prepare the people, to warn the people so that they can prepare for the doom that was coming. And we are told in verse 38 by our Lord Jesus Christ that for us in the days before the flood, that is the days of Noah, they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage until the day that Noah entered the ark. So what is God communicating to us here? The message of Noah became secondary to the people. Their priority was based on enjoyment. They set their minds on the challenges, on the problems, whatever they may be facing at that time. And they ignored the message of Noah, warning them, warning them of what was about to happen, the flood that was coming. All that Noah was doing became foolishness to them. That's if Noah was not sensible. Noah was out of his mind. So the message of Noah to his generation became secondary to them. And Jesus here is warning us that we need not behave like those people in the days of Noah who were occupied with enjoyment, whatever may be their expectations in life, what they were longing for. So our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ is preparing us now as Christians, as believers. Today, especially in the context of Nigeria, so many things are happening. People are longing for a better life. Indeed, people are suffering. People are suffering. Basic amenities of life are lacking. Everybody wants breakthrough. We all are longing for breakthrough. We want better, better standard of living. We are tired of the suffering, especially if you have been privileged to reach out and see where government have plans for their citizens. And you see what we are going through here. Oh, all these things are sufficient enough to occupy people's mind. But with this meditation, the word of the Lord is coming to you and I. That despite all these challenges we are facing, our faith in Jesus Christ must be supreme over and above whatever we may desire in life. God is not stopping us from desiring those things. Like he said, people were married. We have children that are of age that should marry. And we are praying for them. And of course, they will marry. We have children there, they are looking for a job. Some have lost their jobs. They need a job. Some are tired of being tenants. Yes, they need to own their own houses. Some are tired of trekking. They need a car of their own. But the point here is, why you desire this? The message of his second coming must be paramount in your heart. Do not allow these things to sway you, to blindfold you. Jesus said, seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. So in this end time, in this Advent season, this penitential period, where we need to be sober, sober, reflect upon our lives, 
with a view to improving on our living standard, on our spiritual life, and so on and so forth, the message of his second coming must be paramount in our hearts. In these days, there are so many things to celebrate. In fact, celebration seems has extended beyond weekends now. Beyond weekends. Before it used to be Friday, Saturday, Sunday. But now, you see from Monday all through, birthdays, other things to be celebrated. And so if you are not careful, all these things will weigh your heart down. And you will just push the essential message, the message of this cross, the message of his coming. You could just make it secondary. The, temptation, the temptations are there. And that's why Luke warned his hearers. Jesus speaking in Luke chapter 21 and verse 34. He said, but take heed to yourselves. We should take heed. The same thing in Matthew 24, which we read. Say, watch. Watch it. Watch it. Take heed to yourselves, lest your hearts, that is where the devil wants to take over. And you can't allow that. Lest your hearts be weighed down. Weighed down with carousing, merrymaking. So many things to celebrate. Be weighed down with the things you, with different expectations of yours. And you are carried away. The breakthrough you are longing for. And you are carried away. Drunkenness and cares of this life. Very important. Cares of this life. This is the biggest challenge facing us now. Especially in Nigeria, in Africa. Cares of life. Uh, Jesus won. So that that day come on you unexpectedly. So we are expected to prepare. He's coming again. What are those challenges you are facing? Have they occupied your mind? No. Much as the Lord is promising you that he's going to respond to them, let the message of his second coming be paramount in your heart. Live every, every of your day as if it's the last day. This is the message of Advent. As if it's your last day. That Jesus could just come now. It could be now. It could be tomorrow. Nobody knows. Nobody knows. So the summary of this message is that we must be ready. Wherever we find ourselves, in the office, in the market, alone at home, wherever. Are you traveling? Get yourself ready. As if it's your last moment. Oh, you can't miss heaven. Eternity. Eternity with Jesus. Heaven is real. Oh, my brothers and sisters, when I see the beautiful things... In this world that God has given man knowledge to, to, to manufacture or to create, it reminds me of better things. Better things. Those of you who are wealthy, you are rich, you have money. Oh, all those things you are enjoying should point you to better things the Lord is preparing for us. So no matter your situation, the Lord will respond to you as you choose to be faithful to him. It can only get better. Take that message. It can only get better with you as Jesus become the Lord and Savior of your life. So live every of your day for Jesus. Let us pray. He's coming back again. My Lord is coming back again. He went away and promised that he's coming back again. He's coming back again. My Lord is coming back again. Oh, glory. Hallelujah. He's coming back again. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your word that has come to us this morning. Lord, we pray that this message will be paramount in the hearts of your people as we live our lives on daily basis. Oh, Holy Spirit, help us. 
to live a blameless life. May our hearts be blameless. May we live in righteousness and holiness. We pray that all these things with their pressures will not draw, draw us away from you. But we will hold on to you daily. And that eternity with Jesus will be our portion. In the name of God the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. We thank you for fellowshipping with us today. We invite you to join us tomorrow morning, same time, same station, for another special edition of the Daily Fountain. If you are led to sponsor or support this program, please contact the numbers and email all showing on your screen. Also, subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash ACNNTV. Visit our website www.acnntv.com.